36, counted it myself. 36 for last year. Last year I had 37. So many presents. Oh. Yep, all Michigan and Grands. Let's go, Michigan. Let's go, Michigan. <gasps> Getting rid of the one in the You know, all the, crazy, we had. all the crazy competition we had from outside of Michigan, like, uh, well, Chibo, or uh, Chia. Chia. That's it. Yep. But we have Blade and Runes in the winner side of Grand Finals. Uh -huh. Actually, Ori, I'm with you on the 3-0. I'm really hungry. I was about to say, I'm trying to get really hungry myself, Super and if people hungry. are getting hungry for food. Yeah. Not to be rude and be like, eh, I don't want you to have a chance, but yeah. I hope, regardless of what happens, it's quick. I hope we're having some yeah. explosive gameplay here. Yeah. Let's Which, get everyone off the top at 30. I don't care yeah. who you are. Falcon getting up air. And speaking of up airs, we saw the up airs into a metal blade. I think Blade's going to be the X Factor here. He's been playing really, really well today at doubles. Yeah. He's doing a good job wrestling, but also getting a lot of kills. Like, all of his good parts of his gameplay are going well. And his tempo has been really nice. It's hard to put into words why or what he's doing so well, but I just really he, like the way he's playing. He just, like, when he finds an opportunity, he extends it as far as it needs to. He doesn't that, force that's it exactly to go super how, far. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> he knows exactly how much to try and get off. Oh! Oh my god. He's trying to get He tried to be patient there. Yeah. But Smasher, that's the most annoying up tilts, and I say that lovingly so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because Blade was trying to be patient it's for like, him. It's like, why does he know it's going to work? Yeah, the wake up. Up till and it yeah. happened, you know, because I like Blade's patience. There. I would have done the same thing, Travis. Patient. That's why she's like stupid, but the stupid thing is the smart thing, and that's yeah. gonna cost you your stock because yeah. of it. You right? gotta know so what you're. Like, you gotta know your uh, your team, your uh, opponent, rather. Right. What know thine mean? enemy. Know your enemy. Know yourself. All right. But right now, no, no telling as to what the game is actually gonna do. Runes. Yep. Doing quite well holding his stock and also having a low amount of percent and not getting too antsy to find the kill on the blue team. Right. Oh, I love that F smash. Did he angle that upwards? I feel like he did, but he caught him. He so. caught him, yeah, he caught him on his, uh, like, kind of like land. Oh! That was almost really good awareness by Blade. Oh, there's the tech from Smasher. A no tech there. But how many times time. can you tech that in a row? Yeah. And About as much as the best Smash player in the world, Zero. Best Smash 4 players, yeah. Well, who is probably the best tech? One of the best tech sequences I've seen is the one of Eon and um, Void. Have you seen that? What the one it? where Void bouncing fishes, um, Eon of playing box off stage. Oh, yeah. For like 90%, was and then so he gets fair, but still not to work. Yeah. That was nuts. To be fair, it was like the same time over and over again. It's still impressive. It's what, a 20 frame window? So it's like pretty big. But it's the hard part is when it's a strong hit or a hit you're not expecting, or a weak right. hit, excuse me. Or, just, or even anything you're not expecting, right? Yeah. Just like how uh, I wouldn't expect Runes to be the one stock tanking right now. Yeah, he's doing a nice job stock tanking. Oh my goodness. Rude oh, and Blade off the top. Like you said earlier, he's been playing on point. Yeah. And if Blade is doing that consistently, I don't think Blue Team has a chance, honestly. And yeah. Because the Red Team is backing themselves up the same ways that Blue Team is. And they're strong enough players that with that kind of like more explosiveness that we haven't seen blue team have as much. Just right. in general as much as I use them where they're getting big reads. Not that they're getting big reads, just they're not getting as much off of their stuff, you know. I don't know how to Well yeah, well it's like they, they don't have those big openings like Mega Man, you have to grind them out and same with Pikachu, you don't really have anything that kills super early. While Bayo and Captain Falcon both do. Uh-huh. You know? No, I totally get that. It's like they don't have, like, what? Well, like, Mega Man's gonna kill from back air, and it's always gonna be, like, around 130. And Pikachu's gonna kill from up smash, maybe? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, running into that up smash. Another good aspect. His aspect has been so good. Oh, wow, great combo from Kip Dog. And I think what helps Kip Dog, too, is he's not a play that. He doesn't play in, like, a flow chart. He just kind of has a, his flow chart is just intuition, so to speak. He's feeling out the players. Like, he's yeah. not playing for setups. He just can't ask matches based on, like, I feel like you're going to land here because you've been doing this kind of thing. Or right. You've been, like, you know, air dodging past here. Oh, my. Yeah. Almost getting the kill. Living, though. And then he's, Kieran and always kind of really helped him bring it back. It's not like fishing for, like, landing fair and doing a kill or anything. You know, he's just been playing cleanly all around, and I love it. 
all, all, all these players have been playing quite clean. Uh, Blaze yeah, has honestly. been that one that has been putting in a little extra, but now Kip Dog getting Blade off stage. Blade's been getting the most bang for his buck, as you can say. Right. He's playing well enough that he's getting a lot of buck. He's yeah. got a high stock, you know, stock value. Uh, he's got a high war. <laughs> war? Yeah, baseball. Player. Wins above oh, replacement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. I really like that metric in baseball. Even if it's flawed, but anyways. Ooh, a grab from Kip Dog. Are we gonna see anything? I was about to say, bring a bolt, roof, be the bolt. Yeah, maybe. He almost did there. He looked like he was trying to. Smash at 175. Yeah, great DI from him to, to survive the up air, too. I went at one stock. Doesn't really matter if you get a 2 1 to play it right, but red team looking poised to take game one. Good what stall. Are we see? Stop, maybe a ledge trump. Jabs at the ledge. You're done. Oh, he great almost. SDI, what the hell? <laughs> I'd say the best SCI or the lack thereof taking him off. Dude, so sometimes, I'm not even joking. Sometimes you can be SCI in all the game. Oh, and you don't SCI, the person expecting you to SCI. And then you pop out of it. Or yeah. you set high percent, you know. I want to say at like 115, a lot of the times you can pop out of it. Yeah. Just as you can use and wait hit stuff. into it, you know. Sometimes you get, it's better to be lucky than smart sometimes. That's what I will say about Bayo. Sometimes getting comboed. We're on the combo to end. And then now we're moving on to game two. Blade and Runes showing, hey, when we beat in winners, it was not a fluke. This is what we expected to happen. Yep. They are the one seeds, and so far they're holding on the board for it. And um, now they're fighting the what? Three seed? Three, three, third or second seed. I think it's the third seed. Yeah. But so far, not too upset. Not too many upsets. Is that not stock? Oh, and there it is, Blade. And it's like, what can you do about that as Pikachu? It's not like you can fair foot yeah, no. people and just get that early stock back. You have to play consistently, neutral, cleanly, right. and not try and take too much chip damage in the process. But at the hard. same time, you have to hope maybe Mega Man can help you with his, you know, uh, his up air. Right. Oh! Almost got the spike down there. Kip Dog with actually losing the first stock and, you know, Smasher not in a great position himself. Yeah, as he, uh, he's getting hit off the top from Blade. That's the up air gonna take it out and looking a little distraught is Smasher in the player camp. Yeah, honestly. And I don't blame him. I, it is, I, I'll, I'll let you know, I, I've played a lot of it. Bayou is one of the most frustrating player or characters to fight against sometimes. The way that you get taken off the top, it's, it feels, I don't want to say like you're cheated sometimes. Oh my god, Blade with another early kill and another! Oh! Runes, calm down. Runes, double spike. He got an up tilt Runes and then he got a so down air. Good light now too. They're so both stepping sick. their game up like yeah. right when they need it most, defending yeah. themselves again. But they're probably hungry too. <laughs> Let's I be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah, everyone's, everyone's pretty hungry. hungry. I wonder so. if that mac and cheese place is still open. I don't know. The mac and cheese is a little pricey though. It was. Yeah, ten bucks. All right, that's a no for me. I can do better for downtown. Yeah. Food. Greek Town's got a lot of good places, by the way. Head over there. All right. Oh. But we're not talking about downtown as Captain Falcon gets sent downtown. Yeah, yeah, I was about to, yeah, yeah. You took my line from me. Sorry. It's okay. It was so good you had thought of it too. Exactly. Well, that's like the great minds think alike thing. Yeah, It's exactly. so good you thought of it too. All right. Anyways. What can Blue Team do? They're down an entire stock, basically. Yeah. It's going to be More a hard. stock. A stock and a half. Or two stocks and a half. It's going to be hard because the way they want to play is they want to chip you. They want to, you know... Keep getting a lot, little bits you of damage. You go for a big play, but it's like yeah. I don't know. No one's really getting, especially like players like Blade and Runes after Layer side, but they're not gonna get surprised by like diing in into like a smash. Oh my there. goodness! Oh my god, the F smash call out on the neutral yeah. so clean. Looking for maybe a down air neutral air. And blue, red. I mean, red team doesn't have to play fearful Pikachu at all. Honestly, you can just bully him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, play yeah. as disrespectful as you want right now with zero strings attached. Pretty much. I mean, it's just get the kill if you kill your teammate in the process. He's going to eventually die to a bear, basically. Yeah. Nice Nair. Nair. God, that Nair is so good, dude, yeah. off stage. That's that's the other really impressive thing about just holding that Nair. Saying, yeah. What are you going to do about it? You're going to either take some damage from out. the bullets, or you're going to get hit by it, or you're going to have to air dodge, forcing you to it's make... it got surprisingly low lag, play. too, you know? Yeah. Same thing with their bear. So you can do two bears in a short hop. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's it's like, bonkers. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And so, like, a lot of times, like, the bears will start bearing, and they'll just bear once each thing. And then they'll hit you with the double bear. You're like, wait, that works? Oh, jeez. 
that's kind of one of the things about her airs are so good is like people are like her airs are, are not as fast as people think they are. Problem is they've got really low cooldown. Yeah. So that's why they swing really nicely from her special moves too. You know. So. And they, I mean, they have good range too, and they combo well. Yeah. They're just nice. If Bayou didn't have her B moves, they were just like a normal recovery. She would still have a very good combo game. Yeah. You see people like Tweet who aren't reliant necessarily on her B moves to still have a great combo game, and that's the kind of stuff you can see out of Bayo. And maybe we'll see an ultimate. I hope you see an ultimate force. Um, I mean, Bayo would be kind of ass without combos. him, but still. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It, it's hard to make Bayo a balanced character while maintaining her design philosophy. The only way that's you can make true, it yeah. well designed, I guess, is you know, stuff low, but it did very little damage. Yeah. Like, did 2% for an up B or something like that, you know? It didn't kill off the top. Right. No, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they did Kinda want like a designer Pika to be like really damage. combo Where heavy. Where Pika hits you four times, you take 18%. Yeah. So something like that, I would imagine. Something like that, indeed. Ooh. And this... You see Rune's jab there almost? That was almost nasty. Super. And it, they're going to need it because right now, this is the first time they are actually behind. I still think that they're going to take the first stock, both of them. Uh oh, yeah, you might be right as we go off the top. And then again, looking distraught, Smasher. And, and I understand bit. that. It is frustrating. We yeah, are doing is. so well. And I don't want to say you're you're punished for playing well by the rage, but like. Right. I guess the only response I can really have to it is. Should have played back, should have gone and killed before. But yeah. it's a lot easier said than done against characters with such good mobility and such good threat. Like, we haven't seen Bale or Blade Bayo go for almost any witch times against these two. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, no, not, not too many witch times. A lot of just finding opportunities to kill him off the top, like right There's here, Kip Dog one. might actually die. No, go, get in the air now. Swoosing on away. Yeah. Everyone dying. Yeah. Except Bayo. That's not, of all the characters on the screen, that, this is the one that you cannot let live, though. Right, you know, I'm always a big promoter uh, in doubles of saying, there's a certain point that you hold the L on killing character. Uh-oh, oh no, oh, oh, Smasher getting out of it. Right, right. Sometimes you just gotta be like, all right, I guess you live. And then up air again, and then again, Kip Dog's shaking his head. Kip Dog's shaking his head too. Yeah, I don't blame him. That's frustrating. No, I, I don't, I don't either. It's at, at, at the same time. Uh oh, Blade is just finding his opportunities correctly. What response can Blue Team have? They're down yeah, two they're stocks. Down a lot. Uh, Lost another stocks. to a nice. Set up into the dare. Might actually just kind of be it at this point. Bayo still with three stocks. Red team firing all cylinders. Yeah. With no. There's no way it looks like they're gonna stop anytime soon. And if I'm blue team, I, I might try, but I, I know I'm not gonna play my best. Right. It's just not how it works. You know, there's only only a certain amount of time that you can try at maximum capacity. Right. And there's yeah. a point that you're like, I'm probably gonna lose now. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a mentality thing, it's just like one of those things that's like... It's human nature to give up at a yeah. certain point. I don't want to say give up, but just not play as well. Because yeah. you play so well when you're like in it, like Blade and Runes, how they're really in it right now. Yeah. There's a witch time, they're by the way. They're in the zone. Yeah, there's a witch time. Yeah. But it was a max It was a max time in witch time, you know? Yeah. And at this point... Oh, wow, nice. set up side B into the F smash, yeah. and I'll take it. And that is why they were the first oh, seed. Very easily taking this temple. They almost dropped no games, honestly. I don't, I don't How many dry games did they, they drop in? Um, I feel like they did.